Hi there. Now for this question, we had to prove by mathematical induction that for all positive integers n, that the matrix 1, 0, minus 1, 5 to the power n was equal to 1, 0. And then for this element here, minus a quarter, all times 5 to the power n minus 1. And for this element, it was 5 to the power n. So in order to do this, I'm assuming that you have got some idea of mathematical induction. If not, do check out my videos on my website. Okay. Now, we need to show that this is true for when n equals 1, first of all. So just substitute n equals 1 in the left-hand side and n equals 1 in the right-hand side and check that you get exactly the same value. So I've done this, okay, and you should find that they both check out to the matrix 1, 0, minus 1, 5, okay? And so therefore it's true when n equals 1. Next thing we need to do is assume that this result here is true for n equals some constant value. Let's say k. So if we do that, just write that in, assume true for n equals k, then we just replace the n with the k, okay? Both in the left-hand side and in the right-hand side. Now we need to work on this assumption and prove that it would be true for n equals k plus 1. So that's the next step. So we set up when n equals k plus 1. And so we've got 1, 0, minus 1, 5 to the power k plus 1. And we've got to use this result here somehow. And you can see that all we need to do is say it's the matrix 1, 0, minus 1, 5 times the matrix 1, 0, minus 1, 5 all to the power k. So we can pick up now on this assumption that this matrix here is the same as the one here, okay? So if we put that in, then all we need to do now is just expand the matrices. So if we multiply the matrices out, the result you should get then is this. What I've done here, though, is I've not really totally simplified it. When it comes to getting this element in the bottom, remember it's minus 1 times the 1 there, which is the minus 1, plus 5 times this element here. So 5 times minus a quarter will give us minus 5 quarters. And then it's all multiplied with the 5 to the power k minus 1. As for this element, remember it would be minus 1 times 0, which is 0, plus 5 times 5 to the power k. Okay, so we've got that. Now I need to think about how I'm going to end up with something like this, only wherever there's an n, it's going to be k plus 1. So I can see that we're going to have some success here. 5 to the power 1 times 5 to the power k, that's going to be 5 to the power k plus 1. But with this one, let's just expand the bracket, okay? And if you do that, then you're going to have minus 1 and then minus 5 quarters times 5 to the power k. That would be 5 to the power k plus 1 if we add the powers there. And then you've just got plus 5 quarters on the end. Now we just need to tidy this up. So in doing that, we've got 5 quarters minus 1. So that's just going to be a quarter. And then I can pull out a quarter and you'll find that we end up with this. Okay, minus a quarter, all times 5 to the power k plus 1, minus 1 there. And so this is looking really good. You can see that it's got the same pattern structure as we had up here. Only wherever there's an n, we now have it replaced with k plus 1. So... In summary, then, we know that if it's true for n equals k, then we've just proved that it's true for the next integer up, n equals k plus 1. So since it was true for n equals 1, it must be true for n equals 2, 3, 4, and so on. So it must be true for all positive integers.
Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea then if that caused you any problems.